and welcoming Mr. Strauss Khan. But I see a very worrying uh, development, which is that the pre-crisis pattern of global imbalances is re-emerging. Growth in economies with large external surpluses, China, Germany, is still being powered by experts. Growth in economies with large external uh, deficits, the U.S., is still being powered by domestic demand. Uh, to, the, to the crisis, I see some clouds in the horizon. Uh, Why should we worry about capital flows? But sometimes they are too volatile and they may be disrupting. So what's the way to address the first way to address is macroeconomic policy. Put in place the right macroeconomic policy and accept the fundamental that those capital flow may reflect. That includes change in the value of the currency. That includes adaptation for the long term. It takes time, of course. So maybe you have to react more rapidly. And then there's a set of macroprudential policy that you can uh, put in place measures on property prices, for instance, or on exposure to foreign currency borrowing. But even this, sometimes, may not be enough to avoid disturbing, short-term disturbing, disturbing flows. And in this case, it's our view, even if it's a bit new for the IMF, that uh, temporary capital controls can be put in place. Um, but of temporary use, which means that it cannot be a substitute to the right answer, which goes through macroeconomic and macro prudential. They are too volatile, and they may be disruptive. So what's the way to address? The first way to address is macro An exchange rate adjustment will certainly have their role to play in this rebalancing. That's why this move in the exchange rate shouldn't be resisted. Holding back such adjustment in one country only makes it harder for other countries that need to adjust and more costly uh, to let the exchange rate adjusting. For this adjustment to take place, time is of the essence. And we all have to understand this. And I won't be on the side of those pushing day after day, some country, especially one, to revaluate its currency as if it was something to be done overnight. But asking for time only makes sense if there is significant and recurrent move in the right direction. So what we have to expect is that in the coming months, not to say in the coming years, uh, the value of the currency which need to adjust will adjust at a pace which is in line with the need of the economy, especially the Chinese economy. It is in the interest of China today to move in this direction because it's consistent with the, domes the domestic policy which is put in place. The G20 has built a historic framework which will try to work together for the mutual assessment process. For Asian countries to have a bigger role in an institution like the IMF means also to have bigger responsibility. The time of the free, free rider is over. The more important you are in an organization, the more you have a responsibility of the future, not only of the organization, but of the goal of the organization. And if the IMF is built to try, help, to try helping the global economy to find the track, the path, of a safe and healthy uh, growth, then the responsibility of Asian countries has increased a lot. And I do believe that it, this is uh, that most, not to say all, maybe all leaders in Asia are quite aware of this uh, today. That we could have a steady, safe, and healthy growth all over the planet 
have in many places, including developing countries. I don't expect that the uh, turmoil in these two countries will have a, a global uh, effect. It has originated some move on the markets, on the oil market, the futures on the oil market, uh, kind of things, but I think that's very temporary. Uh, but, but, but what I expect, it ha it, that it has, what I hope, more than expect, is that it will uh, make it more uh, clear for most leaders that these questions are not small questions and that you cannot deal only, that's the IMF uh, head who is saying this, you cannot deal only with concern about uh, the current account deficit and uh, the rate of growth or the rate of inflation. You have to deal with many other questions. It can divert people towards the productive activities. It can also make... I'm not trying to change the image of the IMF. I'm trying to change the IMF. Image is important. It follows. The Fund is a multilateral institution that has to be helpful to its membership. If not, there is no need for such an institution. To be helpful for the membership, we need to adapt, to learn from the past, to change when we need to change, and to make this change visible. Then comes the part of the image, but only down the road. 